his song, Someone You Loved. We play it pretty much once every hour and a half on 96.5. Give it up for Louis Capaldi. There he is. I love him. <laughs> S. See, he knows it. Do you want me to hold your stuff? No, this is so hot here. Don't, hey, <laughs> don't, wait a minute. I got you. No, it's fine. I'm a friend. <laughs> Billion dollar facility. We don't have a, uh, a coffee table. <laughs> um, put it on the put it on the expensive keyboard right here. You like it there? That looks good. Oh, put it on that weird tree trunk thing. There you go. That's all the time we have today. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. We got the drink. Ah, oh, here we go. Do you want this now, or do you? Yeah. We could. Do you like the <laughs> the look of disapproval? I like. You like it there? It's symmetric. Yeah, I know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> you see them in your perif. You want a microphone? Nah. <laughs> Chew. Ch do you need these beverages throughout your performance? Do you want me to grab these while you perform? I, no, I can't. I can do that for you. I can't drink and sing at the same time, man. Like in <laughs> you raise a good point, Louis Capaldi. How you feeling, man? So, oh god, <laughs> I'm good. Thank you very much. Yeah, for having me. Make some noise for Louis Capaldi, man. This is <laughs> he's having himself a moment right now. E A G L E S Eagles. Are you an Eagles fan? Or today you are? Sure. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> no. You're good. Fuck it. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. No, no swearing. We love you, Lewis. We love someone you loved. We love all the success you're having. We love your social media accounts. Your Instagram is hilarious. You, you. Go, you have declared yourself on social media as America's next sweetheart. What, uh, tell the people what, <laughs> what makes you America's next sweetheart. What are some of the characteristics that you have? You have to be an athlete. Absolutely. <laughs> you have to have, I've got, I've got like lovely, rosy, chubby cheeks. Mm. I like <laughs> um, you have to love America. That's usually probably a good starting ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And listen, I love it here. And what else do you have to do? You have to be on. You have to have been on TV at least once. Yeah, that's them's the rules. Right, I don't make them up. <laughs> and you've been doing that, so I've been doing that. Yeah, I, I've been doing it. So yeah, as a campaign, we're really trying to push forward, and just, I'm just trying to, do you know, I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to be the best me I can be. Is that your phone? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, uh, right, right, right on cue, your phone goes off. You say, I'm trying to be the best me as possibly. Yeah. And your phone goes off. He said, I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> so I'm just going to try to be the best me I can be. My, my bum. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, uh, this has been a really weird start to the interview, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, you're good. <laughs> Who's listen, your... America, sweetheart, I, you've got Cardi B. Yeah. Is she your biggest competition when it comes to America's sweetheart? I think you got you got Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> you got, right. You got who this, else have we got? This is the Mount Rushmore of America right here. You got you got Ellen. Ellen Cardi B. Cardi B. Give me two more that would be in the running for America's sweetheart. Who's your other two major competition here? Lil. Is it like a, is it like a Kardashian or a Jenner? Are it is perhaps it is. It is, it is, no, it's not him. It, it is. It's tough, you have, a, you have a, a lot of Americans to choose from. It's, um, it's the Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers, they get one slot, all one of them. One slot. All, yeah, or they're all one person. Let's put it on top of one another. <laughs> yes, you stack them. A Jonas Brothers pile <laughs> and. That's how we like them. And, and who's the and fourth one? Frankie Muniz. <laughs> 
you got to have Malcolm in the middle to complete your uh, Mount Rushmore. You're not the boss of me now, and you're <laughs> not so bad. That is the most eclectic group I've ever heard in my entire life. Sounds like a good, good time, though. I wouldn't mind partying with them. Frankie yeah. Munez and Cardi B. I mean, where are you going to get that action? I mean, listen, a lot of people don't know that those two are actually really close friends. Are they? Yeah. They See, you know all this because you're in Hollywood right now. Yeah, I've joined the Illuminati. I'm right, yeah. <laughs> you've, had, you've had quite the run there, Lewis. And every Wednesday afternoon, just after lunch, Cardi B and Frankie Munez meet up and they play checkers. No. Yep, they play checkers and dominoes. And what's something else that's probably silly? They play and then they have, they have a water fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and adorable. Who would have thought? Uh, not me. Lewis Capaldi with the exclusives here. Yeah, this is pretty well, good. This is it. This is what you get uh, from the inside of the Illuminati. <laughs> I'm probably going to get kicked out. For this telling is, you. This is what happens when you have a number one hit song on the radio. You're part of the Illuminati now. They say, come on in. Come on in. And you got, uh, you got artists right and left covering your music. You got Camila Cabello, as we saw on your social media. You were, you were so, uh, you know, beside yourself seeing that Camila covered your song. I was beside myself. I loved it so much. I love Camila. I think um, yeah. the fact that she covered it means that uh, um, I have peaked. <laughs> yeah. It's all downhill from here. She has, it's over. She, she did it very well, and I've said this a couple of times now, too well. Yeah. She was doing a lot She was of, milking it. She was doing a lot of this, saving your sound. And I can't do that stuff, and it makes me feel bad. So, Camila, next time you cover it, just please cover it again, because it really helps the sales. Yeah. <laughs> Cha-ching. And uh, I need the money. <laughs> but just don't, don't do it so well. What have you done with your first uh, someone you loved check? Your big check that came in. Did you do something responsible with it or did you just... Well, it's just... Because you you're know, making money now. I, well, apparently you make yeah. money after a year. Oh. So I haven't made any money. <laughs> gotcha. I'm wearing my own merch today. <laughs> <laughs> this is what? A, this is, uh, speaking of money, this is, <laughs> this is fresh off um, the press. Yes, it's lewiscapaldi.com. You can grab uh, this. Well, no, this isn't even on sale. Whoa. Yet. So this is an exclusive right here for all of you to have feast your eyes upon. Mmm, <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> Look, it's me. It's a picture of me. Uh, but the reason I'm wearing this is because um, I, this is the last day of our four-week, five-week tour in America. Yeah. And I have no more clean clothes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wrap. It's pretty, I feel I'm wearing, and he doesn't know this, a pair of his underwear. Wow. <laughs> the, the <laughs> this is true. How do you feel this about is, that? <laughs> uh, I feel great about it. They're yeah. a bit snug. <laughs> they're snug? Because what remember, kind of underwear? Are they Hanes or? <laughs> yes, the oh, CK briefs, my man. CK briefs. Wow, okay. Calvin Klein. <laughs> he's, he's getting paid well. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, so um, I, it was wet. You were in for a shower. You went for a shower yesterday, and we were in, we, in the venue, and I needed <laughs> an extra pair of pants, and I just thought, well, I'll, I'll put on these pants today, but then I'll get take one of the pair of Aidens for tomorrow. Because I don't, I don't want to do washing. I don't want to do some laundry yeah, the day I don't before blame I go you. home. Do you know what I mean? I'll yeah. just go home. Mom... <laughs> Can you wash my pants for me? And she'll say yes. She sings too. Well, that's what we communicate. <laughs> okay, very uh, talented family. Uh, yeah, yeah, unique. Uh, yeah, unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like sure. that. That's how we communicate. So she, so yeah, I'm wearing your knickers, and it's um, I've got them on. They're very nice. They're very nice. Yeah. Um, as I say, a bit snug. He's a sm he's a smaller man than I am. <laughs> At, yeah. at size and right. and weight, <laughs> right, 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 I right. cannot speak on the other exactly, parts of his right. body. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, <laughs> so uh, those are those. We're, are we're covering everything I wanted to know about you. So we got okay, Frankie Muniz check. We got boxer briefs check. Yep, and we're we're covering we're checking a lot of boxes here. We're checking a lot of boxes. We're covering we're covering all of our bases. Yeah, makes sense. Let's we'll talk about someone you love. The biggest song on the radio. Everyone loves this song, right? The song. The second I heard it, yes. The second I heard that song, it just broke through to me. Like. I can't be the only one. The second that song comes on, you could be doing anything, and you just have to stop for a second and take it in. Turn it off. 
No, I don't, no, I never turn it off. <laughs> Especially when it's on 96.5. I raise it up. But like, there yeah. you go. Hey. hey, that's why they pay me the big bucks, Lewis. Come on, man. <laughs> I wanted to, yeah, I wanted a standing O. Benny boy. <laughs> I'm trying to make money over here too, Lewis. Ripping the, ripping yeah, the Yeah, this, this guy right here. When it's on this one, zoom in, Justin. There you go. Again, 96.5. The song breaks through the lyrics, the passion, the tone. It's just so heartfelt. And it brings up, I feel like it brings up like old hurt, like, you know, the, the girl that did me wrong in second grade. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just, it, it cuts to my core. My question to you, though, as a singer songwriter and for a song that's so heartfelt, so passionate, do you still, like, when you perform that song now, after hundreds of times performing it, do you still feel the pain and hurt that you, when you wrote it, or are you just thinking about the money that you're about to make? No, I am. Um, dead to the world when I'm singing that song. I'm like, I'm just, I'm not registering any emotion whatsoever. I'm just trying to get through it. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I love it. I love playing it. I don't really, I don't every time I sing the song get sad. Yeah. Um, but I do, because it's not, once I've written the song, it's kind of, that's it. You get my serious answer here, by the way. Um, once I've written the song, it's like not, that's the, that's the sadness. That's the sadness gone. Yeah. And I think, it's like exorcism. It's out of your system now. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, exorcise the <laughs> demons. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, so I, I write the song, and then that kind of goes away. But what's cool about playing it live is you see everybody else. When, like, you see them going through emotions mm. that you went to, and you see people crying and stuff, and you're like, you're ugly crier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Gross. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ugh, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, uh, but it's very nice. To, that's kind of cool. I love playing live. That's my main, main, my main, my main, my main, my main thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's my main thing <laughs> I like to do. My main, 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 main. I sort of like, yeah, that's all, folks. That's that um, but, <laughs> uh, and I, yeah, I love singing live, and that, um, that, that's the best part about it, is seeing people kind of react to your songs. Yeah. And the way that you, you can see, oh, it's, it's weird we all, as human beings, experience the same emotions. This is getting super deep. I like yes, it. It's, I, I, the one thing about me, Lewis Capaldi goes deep. That's what they say. Yeah. yeah. And your voice just, like, I want to take a nap on a blanket made out of your voice. Like, it's just, your voice is just so. That would be impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't it be delightful? Maybe not for you. Uh, I, I thought you were going to say, wouldn't it be delicious? Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be delicious. That would be nice. Yeah, for sure. And tonight, you're closing out your, your tour here, right? This is the last night. Yep. Closing out with a bang here in Philadelphia. This is going to be the last show of the show. E-A-G-L-E-S. <laughs> Eagles. Eagles. Woo. He's not an Eagles fan. He's doing the chant. Hey, I'm an Eagles fan. Yeah, right? Eagles, are, that's like baseball, isn't it? That's baseball, yep. You know exactly right. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing it in Philadelphia. This Philadelphia, right? This and this story. Let me spin a yarn for you here, Barrett. Oh, hold on, let me, um, I'm going to pull up my chair. Pull up a chair. What also, you got, baby? Do you know what I found out today? His name's not even Bennett. It's Michael. Yeah, Bennett's my last name. Michael is... Exposed. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Fake. But I'm no, a fraud. Bennett, great name. Anyway, but Bennett. So Yeah, I'm, li I'm listening, baby. Listen. So we, we... The first time... I, I'm known for wearing sh silly glasses. Mm. And the first time anyone ever... I see you. The first time anyone ever, <laughs> I see you, the first time anyone ever gave me those glasses was in Philadelphia. No way. At the World Cafe. World Cafe Live, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, right down I, the street from here. Yeah, yeah, and I did it, and I, I put them on, and who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah. Philadelphia, so Philadelphia's got a very important... <laughs> I'm with you. Place. Place. In my chest. Oh. <laughs> in my heart. Where in your chest? Oh, in by, my by your heart or just right by my heart? No, and not it. in it because like that's that's important. You'd be dead. You'd be dead, and like that wouldn't do anyone but good. Right beside my heart. The closest thing to your heart is Philadelphia. Yeah. Wow. I think we should close it on that. I think he loves Philadelphia the most. E A G L E S, -G -L -E -S Eagles. Eagles. Louis Capaldi, man. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't let go of me. And this, your hug is warm too. Your hug is, honestly, your hug is what I thought it would be, and more. Thank you. You smell good. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, have you been told you don't smell good? Yeah. I've been told, <laughs> I've been told wow. that I look like the. I'm glad I could give you that boost I've, you needed I've today. Been, I've been told that I look like the human embodiment of the smell of BO. Oh. 
<laughs> so what B.O. smells like. Who said think, that to you? People think I look like what B.O. smells like. Oh. Was that your ex that you wrote the song about? Nah, just like a lot of people on the internet. I don't read it, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you smell, you smell handsome. You are a bar. <laughs> and it with the charm. My baby. <laughs> All right. Nice one. What happens now? Oh, I'm singing. I'm singing. Do you want to? Yeah, of course I want to. It's my job. <laughs> 